are the ring-tailed lemurs of Berenti. Hi, welcome. My name is Jolene. I'm a production and social media coordinator here at Love Nature. Today, I'm going to watch a fascinating story of Lemur Island with you guys. And we're going to talk about all things lemurs. I'm also very interested to hear from you guys since you'll be watching with me. If you have any question or interesting observation that pop up, please feel free to comment below. All right, let's jump in. In a fragment of forest in southern Madagascar, two troops of ring-tailed lemurs are locked in a rivalry over land. The disciplined ruins gang and the laid-back museum gang. Their feud over territory and resources has reached a stalemate. As the punishing dry season shrinks the food supply. Oh, poor baby is so hungry, it's, it's eating the sand. The birth of new infants raises the stakes. Invaders now threaten the fragile peace. The Cold War is heating up, and personal grudges are boiling over with bitter consequences. I love how all the lemur moms just fight with their babies on their backs. The babies just like try so hard to grab onto mom's neck for dear life. And just look at those death glares from those lemur moms. They make it clear, don't mess with mama. And can you believe those babies cling onto mom's back for I think five months until they can properly walk? These are the ring-tailed lemurs of Berenti. Four gangs fighting for territory. Leaders. Whoa, there's a lot of estrogen here, I gotta tell you that. I love how these powerful uh, leaders of each gang are all females and they're all mothers. There's no kings. There's only queens. So I guess in lemur's world, queens caught the shots. So I think most of the common animals we know, like lions, baboons, or bison, they're all um, strong and powerful male rule the pack, but not in lemur's world. I bet not only queens, queens' uh, daughters, probably granddaughters even rank higher than their brothers, uncles, or grandpas. I guess we're all officially entered girls' world. And losers. We know that at the bottom of the society, male lemurs are losers. But Pam, what did you do, Pam? What did you do? You're a female? Your mother? What happened to you? Their world is shrinking and their future's at stake. Who will survive the battles ahead? In one of southern Madagascar's last forests, a white wall stands, marking the boundary between two warring tribes. On one side, the museum gang an easy-going troop of 14, led by their inexperienced queen, Katie. On the other, the Ruins Gang. For them, order and discipline are a way of life, under the rule of battle-hardened crystal. Between them, the barren sand of no man's land. 
Across the divide, the rivals strut and stare. <laughs> it's September, near the end of a long dry season. Food is getting scarce. Tension is rising. But neither troop wants to risk a fight. For now, an uneasy truce holds. Okay, at this point, if I have to choose which gun to join, I would probably choose Crystal's gun over Katie's. Just because Katie is so laid back and she's so battle shy, she just kind of don't care doing my own thing. I don't, I doubt it that she's gonna lead us to success. Even though Crystal is kind of like a strict tyrant, life might be a little hard under her control, but I have faith in her that she can find us reliable food sources. What do you guys think? Which one, which one would you be part of? You have to, you have to think about it like your life depends on it because your life depends on it. <laughs> Every tree, road, garden, and building has been claimed. Stepping into the wrong territory, that's a declaration of war. The best territory in Berenti is the ruins. The remains of an abandoned restaurant are the home base for the 15 strong ruins gang. And the headquarters of their leader, Crystal. She's a tyrant with a temper who's held power for five years. But Crystal's also a good mother. She dotes on her weak old infant, Tommy, carrying him with her wherever she goes as she roams her domain. Mid-morning, the ruins gang assembles around her. Five adult males, four juveniles, and five adult females, each with a weak old infant on board. If Crystal wants to stay on top, she has to keep everybody well fed and safe. But she also has to keep them in line. And she didn't become boss by playing nice. She impatiently rounds them up before leading them out on an important daily mission. Mm. Territory patrol. The troop members call to stay in contact as they tag every landmark with a strong smell from glands on their rear ends. It sends a stark warning to any other ringtail. This is Ruins Land. Keep out. Does that mean lemurs from different gens smell different? And there were ends. How do you how do you identify how you and your gametes rare ends smell like? I mean, like, do you just go around and sniffing trees and oh, that's that's Tony from Ruins. Oh, that's Alex from Raiders. <laughs> how do you know? But I know that lemurs have great sense of smell, so I guess it makes sense for animals living in such complex social group to remember the smell of their king and um, game mates. That message is meant for one bunch in particular. Just 50 yards away, the museum gang claims its own piece of real estate. the museum gang. Their hangout is the Berenti Museum and the old water tower in the backyard. At the helm is Katie, their chilled out queen. She's only worn the crown for two years, 
and doesn't seem too concerned with keeping her gang in line. Her main preoccupation is Maya, her weak old infant. Taking a cue from their leader, the museum gang lemurs aren't so serious about politics. There's less patrolling or squabbling about status, and more time spent relaxing. No one is more relaxed than adult male Morris. In the museum gang hierarchy, Morris is near the bottom because he's male. Well, Morris, look at the bright side. At least you don't have to raise a kid on your own. Ring-tailed Lima society is strictly matriarchal. The lowest ranking female is still above the highest ranking male. And Morris is the lowest of the low. Like all males, he's supposed to be guarding the territory. Instead, he's showing off. He smears his tail with smelly secretions from his wrist glands, then wafts it at whoever's nearest. If it's a male, it's known as stink fighting. If it's a female, it's stink flirting. But when Morris does it, it's just irritating. Stink flirting is such a funny concept to me because imagine us humans do that. We all walk into the bar and just <laughs> just do this and let everybody smell our stink. <laughs> well, actually, we're actually not so different. What we do is we put cologne or perfume on ourselves, on our wrists, or behind the ear and armpits to cover up our stink. So when we walk into the bar, people don't smell our stink, instead they smell the perfume. Well, I guess we're not so different after all. While Katie's reign might seem carefree, she's under the same pressure as Crystal. Her museum gang needs food. It's five months into the dry season. Rain is at least four more weeks away and forest food is in short supply. For the adult lemurs, it's the toughest time of year. Mothers have it especially hard. They must suckle their babies through these weeks of scarcity. But by synchronizing their births to the season, they guarantee their youngsters will wean just as the rain comes and the trees bear fruit. Wait, what? Synchronizing their birth time to the season? Oh my God, that sounds a little weird, but so brilliant. Cause we all know climate change has made life harder for all animals, and in this case, lemur moms. So what they do is they manipulate their birth time to avoid harsh seasons to ensure their baby's survival. These intelligent creatures really know how to plan out parenthood. Right now, Katie needs to find food for her museum gang to ensure the infant's survival. If she fails, she won't be queen for long. Thank you guys for watching with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please continue to watch and support the channel. There are a lot more amazing content to come. And if you enjoyed this commentary video, please comment below to let me know and we'll try to make more content like this in the future. All right, Team Crystal out.